Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me. I want to show you this map for uh, geoelectric um, effects that are currently going on here on the Earth. It keeps updating. This is the geoelectric field. Now, just exactly what is the geoelectric field? Currently, we're going through a magnetic uh, storm from um, a solar flare from the sun. So I looked it up for you. Geoelectric field is a measure of induction hazard uh, to man-made connections such as electrical power lines that results from geomagnetic activity and can be used to estimate the amount of current induced by integration along the conductive pathway. So this is areas that would be affected, could be affected, alarms could be going off from the current geomagnetic storm. I want to mention also that um, as this map goes up and down with the um, power fluctuations from the geomagnetic storm, storm it also affects people's health. Um, myself, I get ringing in my ears. Um, many people have increased anxiety. Um, it, it does cause problems with your um, heart and blood pressure, things like that. And it also can cause earthquakes and adverse weather. And you notice here, which is quite interesting, down over here, this is where that storm's supposed to go through um, this week, all the way up through Easter holiday. So keep, see how it keeps changing? Yeah. Yeah, so GPS would be affected, uh, telev television, um, radio, satellite, uh, things like that. I posted this last night on X or Twitter, um, how we were currently going through. It was just starting to impact us. And then right now, as the sun comes up and the uh, part of the planet where I live is currently sun facing, you can see it's starting to go up again. We might have auroras tonight, um, supposedly as far as Oregon and Illinois. Um, it's supposed to continue through the uh, 17th. But looking at this, we might have it, um, yeah, maybe through the 18th, but I doubt it. So here we have the measurements for the 16th, 5.33. Tomorrow, 5.33. Then it drops on the 18th to uh, 3.67. The greatest expected three-hour KP index for April 16th through the 18th is um, a 6 um, for a G3. So a G3... Um, storm uh, power rating means power systems voltage connections may be required um, false alarms triggered on some protective devices spacecraft surface charging may occur on satellite components drag might may increase and you might have more of elon musk satellites coming down um, increase on low earth orbit satellites and connections may be needed for um, orientation problems. Other systems, intermediate satellite navigation, you know, GPS, low frequency radio navigation problems may occur. Hi-Fi radio may be um, intermediate, interrupted. And auroras have been seen as low, has been seen as low as Illinois and Oregon. Um, typically, 50 uh, geomagnetic, geomagnetic, magnetic, boy, I'm all tongue tied, more coffee, um, latitude. And then, yeah. So here we have an image of the sun. Um, they are predicting a G3 level storm conditions that could bring northern lights. Uh, the incoming punch from the sun is expected to arrive in the form of two coronal mass ejections. CMEs that are expected to strike the Earth in succession, one after another. You saw that one right there. The CMEs were launched during a rare double eruption of solar magnetic filaments on April 12th and 13th, arriving hours earlier than expected. 
a CME struck Earth magnetic field at 1 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time and on April 15th, according to spaceweather.com. A strong G3 ge uh, geomagnetic storm watch remains in place for today, April 16th, as conditions could intensify again, particularly if another CME arrives, according to NOAA Space Weather. Yeah, um, NOAA classifies geomagnetic storms using a G scale, which ranks their intensity, intensity from G1 minor to G5 extreme. Uh, the recent geomagnetic storm watch NOAA issued is rated as A3, indicating a strong storm condition. For those of you that might not be familiar with CMEs, they're large explosions of plasma and, and magnetic field from the sun. When they collide with the Earth's magnetic field, they can cause geomagnetic storms that trigger brilliant auroras, sometimes visible at, um, farther south than usual. Um, with this event, auroras may be visible once again as far as Oregon and Illinois. I'll have to go out tonight and see if I can see them here in South Dakota. I hope so. Sometimes I only see them like a, a green hue. Many years ago, I want to say about 20 years ago, um, there was a rare event where it looked like uh, rippling sheets of color in the wind. But that was before a time of cell phones and um, the news didn't carry it. And We were out probably about 4 o'clock in the morning. My kids were delivering the newspaper and got to see it. But, yeah, this is what the, the sun is um, showing. Yeah, look at that. There's one at the bottom that went off and one at the top. And how you know it's going to impact the Earth is you see, yeah, um, this plasma. It almost looks like snow going across the field of vision. So, anyways, let's check out the uh, power flux. This would be current... Um, areas that could have false alarms going off. I didn't even know I had this saved in my um, bookmarks. I'll share it down below in the more information box. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, oh, and also it would probably be areas that um, the GPS would be affected. Um, please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.